In his fictional book, The Great Divorce, C.S. Lewis describes one of the female characters as one who was so beautiful that she had many men who loved her. However, he writes, it was the kind of love that made them not less true, but truer to their own wives. With such a description, C.S. Lewis illustrates what true biblical beauty promotes, love, not lust. Yet, as sinners, both men and women live in a fallen world that is tempted to objectify beauty and people for selfish pleasure. Crude, dirty jokes, viewing pornography, all come from the same fallen place. And having sexual relations outside of the marriage relationship as God designed it breaks and dishonors his gift of sexuality. Because God wonderfully created and values this gift, he directs us in the sixth commandment, you shall not commit adultery. Rather, we are to honor marriage and our sexuality with contentment and trust of God's design and purpose. C.S. Lewis illustrated the truth of love over lust as stated clearly in 1 Corinthians 13. Love is not self-seeking, and it doesn't rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. See, Jesus is the best picture of 1 Corinthians 13 we will ever see. In fact, you might say he's picture perfect. Through the Holy Spirit, we receive that true love and are free to love as he first has loved us. Being loved and loving others is radically different in its way of living, and it comes from following Jesus, being transformed by his love, and staying committed to his mission. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we often are filled with selfish desires, and yet love teaches us a better way. Would you help us to love others as you have first loved us? And we thank you for the way that you love us, for the fact that you have loved us so perfectly through your son, Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen.